Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I'm doing a great prison architect review. I asked you guys to send in some prisons for me to review. I haven't looked at them, so this is gonna be a lot of fun and you're gonna see what I'm seeing. And the way I think, I think is what you're gonna see. This guy sent in a prison and first jump, first street, I like the look. And what I mean by that, it's got spaces between it. The bunks, it's like separate units. So somebody's been listening to my Twitch maybe uh, when I did the Twitch with Prison Architect. You built this prison in like three units, four units, the beds, a uh, common room, common room, common room. I love that. You have the staff off to the side. I would have put the staff up here, this part, I would have put the staff against it so you don't have to go outside the, the whole place uh, to do it. I would have did that. That would have been different. Let me look at his uh, capacity. He's got 104 uh, medium security, max 108, and minimum 22. Uh, you know, that that's kind of an okay thing to do. I always believe in putting a prison, either a medium security prison, the whole prison. Maximum security prison, the whole prison. Low security prison, the whole prison. It makes it easier to uh, uh, control the prison, get the guards you need, the qualified staff you need. Uh, and always remember, if you have a maximum security prison, you should put another prison outside that. So let me keep continuing where I'm at. Let me look at their reports. And the first thing I do always is look at their uh, regime. What are they doing? They got breakfast. You know, this guy's pretty good. He's got the maximum security eating earliest uh, at uh, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. for uh, medium, and minimum at 9. You have to split them up, obviously, if you only have one chow hall. He does have an eating three meals. I would have probably started at 6 o'clock. That's what usually happens. You know, 6.10, 6.15, but good job, man, whoever's doing this. Set it up right, even lockdowns and uh, bedtime. He's got sleep time a little bit too early. You ain't putting these uh, maximum security inmates to bed at 6 at 6 p.m. So I'm not gonna buy that one. Uh, I, would, I would maybe have some day room time, some common room time, and I would have brought that up to maybe 10 o'clock. Maybe all, I mean, obviously, each unit is as of itself. So you're not gonna put maximum security inmates with medium security. It's just not gonna happen, guys. So that that's what I'm gonna look at. Uh, the intake. Now, let's look at the money of the prison. You know, I'm not a fan of money in prison. So, he's got cash flow, $533. Uh, now, bank balance is $9,000, it's not a lot. So I, I kinda like that. He's not looking at this prison as a way to make money. I can't stand how our government makes money on prisons, you know that. A couple of little things, you know, the armory and the security office should be near, closer to the front entrance. Because if you wanted a, you know, if somebody took over that armory, how do you get to it? You gotta go through the whole prison. So I would've put that there. Receptions in the right area, deliveries are in the right area. Even garbage. Now, the garbage area has to be where the inmates can go dump the trash. You don't want them that close, so you might have put. Visitation, again, they have it at the right area, but I am assuming that's the only way to get into prison because I'm not seeing a way to get into prison. It's kind of a little confusing. I am assuming it's right here over near the workman's area, the garbage. Uh, there's another entrance at the road gate in the deliveries. So that would be a little different. You'd have a main entrance, and after your main entrance, you'd work down to where the visit is, stuff like that. And it would be one entrance. You don't want multiple entrances. You don't want multiple, multiple. I mean, you're gonna have a delivery entrance, and then you're gonna have the main entrance. You don't wanna have multiple visits and stuff like that, because you gotta man it, and, and it's a different way to man. I love the separate units, the way they're set up. I love that. I love the big corridor. I love that as well. Uh, they kind of got a day area. Here, you know, the yards are in each unit now. Again, most prisons will have one yard because it's a big spot. But this is the way to put in a yard if you're going to do it. 
and it's going to be out in the open. I like the way they did that. I don't like that you have armed guards inside the facility. Now, if you put up towers, gun towers, and that's where your armed guards are, why would you want an armed guard in a facility? Because in that facility, if they take over that guard, they got a gun. You wouldn't do that. So no prison should have armed guards, and you have multiple armed guards all. You have guard, guard, and then armed guard. But all in all, buddy, you did a good job. Let's get on to the next prison. All right, Daniel, jumping off, you got a small prison. It's a big prison with not a lot of people in it. Obviously, you're on day 429, so you're over a year old. You have maximum 28, medium 54, and that is it. You have a very small population. You have 103 inmates. You have one on death row. You have super max. Now, obviously, with a super max, uh, you know, it, it, things get hairy because these guys have to be separated. And you did that. Here's a big problem with this prison. Right off the jump, there's way too many dark spots. Here it is, three in the afternoon, and look at all the places that don't have power. You need power in a prison. That's the first thing. In fact, in all prisons, what they do is they actually have their own generator system. Look at over here, I'm assuming this is the Supermax on the right, right here. And at the Supermax level here, look at this, all dark. And now you have people here? I don't know. Uh, unless it's just because there's nobody in the facility and the lights are out, but the power station uh, is there. Even the places I'm assuming have people. And, uh, you know, it, it's tough. What's the caution? A light. See, they got no power. Even the main areas. All the main areas, guys. The infirmary, the morgue has it, but no storage. The classrooms are all dark. Chapel's dark. Now, this is in the afternoon. Now, unless nothing is ever being used, I don't get it. So, uh, delivery area, you wouldn't have that dock right off the main road. You do have exports and you do have deliveries. Now, I don't see where the main gate to the prison is. You'd have to, I guess, come through deliveries. Or you'd have to come through exports. I don't know, that seems pretty rough. Reception area is in a good spot. Do you have more storage? You have the infirmaries. You have, uh, what is this, the school, the chapel. You have enough of that. On the other side, you have visitation on the right. Now again, I see the gun towers, I see the fences, and I see the guard towers. I love the fact that you have gun towers. I'm not seeing enough gun towers in prisons that are being sent to me. So good job, especially with a Supermax. And that is your Supermax area. Now you have guards, guards, let me see the guards. You don't have them on, that's good. I wouldn't have the parole office in the maximum security in. I would have it in the main reception area. What's your regime? You're eating at 3 a.m.? Uh, that's county jail stuff. And then your next meal is at 4 p.m. So you're only feeding people twice. Uh, I would move all of that around. Showers, you'd have showers open, you know, a couple times a day, so that's not bad. You'd have them three times, that's okay. Work time is okay. I just don't like the eating at three and eating at four twice a day meal. Uh, your policies are all good. I mean, obviously you got murderers and what you got in, in different facilities. So I like it, needs power, obviously. You know, you have your yard set up okay. Uh, too many of them, obviously, I would put more. I do like the splitting up of the units. I mean, it's got its positives and it's got its negatives like every prison. Good job, thanks for sending in, Daniel. Let's jump into the next prison. Wow, this looks busy. Here we are at two in the afternoon. Let me put it on pause. You got 500 capacity. So you got 447 in, you're under capacity. That's a pretty good thing. Let me see where you put everything. I wouldn't put the workshops right near the road. No way, that's a security issue. You got power plants, you got a lot of lights. You got one dark area here on the back end, but nothing bad at all. Good job on that. All right, you're a profit guy, I can see. You got $27 million in the bank. Spend it, let's go. You got a mega prison here, buddy. Uh, for 500 inmates, you got a mega prison. Uh, I do see some gun towers. 
and I'm looking at the power plants where they are. Good job, they're away from people. That's important. Then you have the road, and now you have one entrance here. I'm gonna go right up into it. And I'm sure, assuming this is for deliveries. And the main entrance. Now you come in, you got the parole board in the right area. I love that, good job. You know, you got the staff rooms, everything right here. I love that. The parole offices, I love that. Look at this, this is pretty good, the office. Gotta love it. The kitchen, everything. Then you have the staff room right off of the workshop. Now, again, I had to move the workshop back, but not bad. I would have the security office on the side of the prison so they can get to anything real quick. Any kind of problems in the prison, which you're gonna have, guys. You know, prisons have problem inmates. We know that. You guys have been doing this now. This is a lawyer's office, warden's office. They are kept off like that, or in, but off. Like, you know, you never see them. So they're usually right where you walk into the prison or something like that. Then they have, this is all bathrooms, and they also have recreation areas, and I am assuming that's for the guards. Uh, you know, I always see helipads. I get it. How about one? You don't need more than one. One helipad is all you need. How many, what, do you, what is this, Beirut? Now their main road, they actually got cut off. They actually have a, a road gate. I don't know if that's legal in front of a prison, unless it's on prison grounds. I would have put a couple more gun uh, towers on every corner of the prison. Over here, over here, and I would have did that. Now your cell blocks. Now, you have pretty nice cells. I see TVs in them. I mean, you're not gonna see that in, in, in most prisons, obviously. But you do see cell blocks like that. Your canteen, your common yard, all over here on the right, that's a pretty good deal. Nothing, you got a staff room to watch them, I am assuming. And here's all your, your bathrooms and uh, uh, more cells. And you got prisoners, your, uh, extremely quick, criminally insane. Uh, you gotta watch where you put these people. You have to really segregate them a little bit more. Uh, you did, though, segregate pretty good. You got a good chapel size, a great gymnasium. I was in Atlanta, we had a great gym in Atlanta as well, a good common area, so I like that. You have your visitation way on the other side of the yard uh, of prison. That would never be. Uh, that's why I didn't even look for it uh, over there. People would have to walk through the whole prison. Think of that. They'd have to walk through the whole prison to get there. That wouldn't happen. Not bad though, all in all not bad. Let me load the last prison. Here we are. We have a very small prison. Nothing wrong with that. Let me look at the makeup. Good job. Maximum security prison. You have maximum security inmates at 88. Capacity 100, you're under it. You're losing money. Truth of the matter, that's okay. Because in my world, you would lose money in a maximum security. In my world, you would lose money. Because it shouldn't be made for profit, so good job. What I would have did right off the jump street is I would have put another little area with a camp and put all the camp inmates over there because they're the ones that are gonna take care of the grounds around the prison. That's how it works. Now, you got the main road. I would have liked to see this building, the staff, everything over here, over here, in the front somewhere. Maybe make the yard a little smaller, bring this building over here, have it come off where you can come in the prison, and you'll be good. I don't like the fact that, let me see, wait, wait does he have any? Uh, snipers I like that you have snipers in every corner that's a good thing that's exactly what you'd have gun towers all over good job uh, you have even a gun tower where the yard it good job great job on the gun towers guys especially in a maximum security prison the power plants I, I see pretty pretty brightness you got a lot of power good job you got backup power it's good job so far now let me go down here and look at where a person comes in the main gate. Now, that's a long walk for anybody to make. I mean, yeah, especially disabled people or anything like that. Uh, you have an armory. Again, I had to put this whole reception, everything, wards over near the front. They're not gonna wanna walk all that way. I can tell you that. 
All right, let's go. You have the chapel, the classroom, the storeroom. All of these offices over here, the parole, all of this, this should be closer to the front main gate because you, you want to be able to get people in who don't work in the prison, you don't want them running through the place. You have a great cell block setup. I love that. You have a common area, common room. Now people would get down, they'd go to the laundry, they'd go to the canteen. I like the flow of inmates. You know, I to be honest, I've never seen a morgue in a prison, unless they call a room a morgue. Uh, but the doctor's office or the hospital or the infirmary in the prison, trust me, when someone dies, they get out of that prison quick. The prison don't want to say it kills people. Your visitation, again, should be up near the, near the front. How would these people get to this prison? I, I mean, I'm looking at your prison. How do the visitors get to the prison? I mean, to the visit. There's no way, you have no entrance, that's a weakness, that they can get here. They'd have to walk across the grass, I'm assuming, go through a wall, I don't see anything here. Maybe go through this jail door and work on the grass, go through storage. There's no door there. So there is your, your flaws on this one, your entrance and exits and where you place it. I do like the size of the yard. I like the size of the canteen. I like the size of, of the chapel and the classrooms. I don't see a work, where's your work area? I do not see work. Uh, you'd have to keep these inmates busy. You have to keep them busy. Listen, we all know what it is. You'd like to see where they had rehabilitation. So let me jump on your reports. Let me look at your regime. Well, you know, there's another little flaw, guys. You're eating two times a day, 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. You know, sleep at 11, I could get away with. Free time, work, lock up. I don't get where the work is unless it's around the prison grounds, obviously. That's gonna be part of it. And you start out a little late. I mean, most people would be starting out at 6 a.m. That's just the way it is. That's how things work. You have enough. Uh, I don't see any shower time, if there is shower time, and I'm sure there has to be. So you got that uh, programs. You have an education pro a little bit. You have kitchen safety, obviously, and that's it. You have one alcohol program and only two in the queue, 12 interested in an education program. You know, hey, listen, I like the smallness. I like that it's a separate facility, but it, it kind of, where do you come into the prison? Where does a visitor come? Where does somebody who's a worker, or a education worker come? I don't know. All right, guys, it's been a great video. I love this game. I'm getting into Prison Architect. I really got to know it well, uh, and it, it, it makes my brain think, as you can see. So have a great day, everybody. Make sure you make good choices so you never go to prison. Keep watching, we love it. Please like the video, comment on the videos, and please share the videos. Uh, put it in your playlist. We love to do, you do that as well. Uh, and thanks for your support, everybody. You know, million subscribers. I mean, I'm blown away. And I'll be talking about that in that video. You know, you got it. So, everybody have a great day. I'm really uh, respectful to all you guys. I really appreciate you sending the stuff to me. Uh, I love doing this. And I want to thank you guys again for all your support. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe.